elsewhere. Microsoft loves to take L's. That's literally all they do when it comes to the gaming sphere. Xbox as a brand has pretty much been in the toilet for the past decade at this point. And it's all been more or less, let's just be real here, partly mainly because of Phil Spencer. If you don't know, Phil Spencer is the, as far as I recall, the CEO that heads of all Xbox decisions. And the only good thing he's done, if I'm being completely honest with you, is put games on Steam. That's literally it. Putting Halo, getting all that on there. Hey, thanks, Phil. But the rest of the things you've done is absolute garbage. Halo Infinite, garbage for many years. Where's all the actual exclusives? Where are the actual games at, dog? Oh, silly me. You're actually just buying up studios. And guess what? You want to know why you're doing it? So that you can shut them down later. Yes, I'm talking about that today. It's so baffling to me to see this because there's I've been letting this unfold for a couple of days. I've been letting it cook. We've already seen the other bad decisions going on for the past couple of days. I already talked about Helldivers 2 and the whole situation with that absolute brain dead decision from sony they couldn't help themselves but guess what the bad decisions doesn't stop there's another video i'm going to make later it's talking about ea and the bad decision that they're making which is absolutely mind-boggling but we're going to talk about microsoft first because my god what is what in tarnation is going on now for those who have kept up with microsoft and xbox xbox used to be a really powerful brand during the xbox 360 era you could not go anywhere without knowing someone that at least had an xbox 360 it was iconic it was classic yes it had the red ring of death everybody in the grandma knows about it but guess what it did have as well too it had a fuckload of games they had exclusives always popping out left and right you had some of the golden child games you had fable you had halo you had always it was like the place to be there were so many games that i can't even bother to just list them all off right now but xbox 360 was a golden era at least something that i remember fondly that because i wanted one myself i was a ps3 user i had a ps3 i played it because i had free online but guess what a lot of my friends had xbox 360 and i wanted one too just for that alone it was literally the place and so to sit there and see where xbox is now the fact that they have almost no games ever come out the fact that it's just making baffling decisions after baffling decisions is insane it's so sad to see as well too but let me start with what's going on so a couple of days ago this came out said microsoft closes redfall developer arcane austin hi-fi rush developer tango gameworks and more in devastating cuts at bethesda since microsoft has closed a number of bethesda studios including redfall maker arcane austin they made more than redfall all right let's be real here let's let's give them some respect they made Prey as well, too, but Redfall was a blemish. I, I, all right, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I was actually fucking mad when I bought my new graphics card last year, and it came with a code for Redfall. I am one of the very few people who have this bullshit on my actual game list. I... I, hey, let me show you. I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. I got y'all. Yeah, here it is right here. I'm cooking heavy with Redfall. I got 3.3 hours because I wanted to at least give it a real shot, all right? Not because I was having fun, but because one, I had to make a review for it for hit or miss, and two, because I was playing it with a friend and we were going to see, you know, just how bad could this game truly be? And it, it was awful, dog. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It was trash. It was not worth playing at all. So yeah, I was pretty upset to get a game code for a game that was already looking to be trash. And on top of that, I have Xbox Game Pass. So it was already there too. I, dog, I wish I could have just resold the code or got something out of it. Because to add on top of this, here's what makes the Redfall shit even worse for those who actually... I guess the 10 people who gave a fuck about this game. On that same day, they made an announcement here and said, today it was announced that Arcane Austin will close and development will not continue on Redfall. To everyone that has supported the work from our Austin studio over the years, thank you. Thank you for spending time in our world and making them your own. Arcane Lynch, uh, Arcane Lion will continue their focus on immersive experiences where they are hard at work on their upcoming project. Redfall players who purchased the Hero Pass as part of the Premium Bite Back Edition or the Premium Bite, ba uh, Bite Back Upgrade will be uh, uh, will be eligible to receive the value of the upgrade. While there will be no further updates, Redfall servers will remain online for players to enjoy, aka the 52 people who played in the past 24 hours and 42 people who played uh, seconds ago. So. Woo! Those people get to have fun with this dog shit of a game. Don't know why you torture yourself and play this, but hey, it is what it is. What's actually really sad about this is the fact that it, it makes their time spent on this just pointless. Because from what I was reading into this, they were actually still working on this game. This was something that they have been continuing to actually develop and have updates for in the future that they were apparently going to release soon just for the studios to now get canned. And all that man hour and time was just wasted. Why not at least get the update finished and then shut them down? That makes more logical sense, Microsoft. You just literally threw a whole bunch of time and money just down the drain for what? To, to not even at least have one more hoorah, one more last chance to get this game revived, even though it was never going to happen? 
Uh, what? The email sent to staff by Matt Booty, head of the Xbox Game Studios, Microsoft blamed the cuts on a reprioritization of titles and resources. Today, I'm sharing changes we're making of our Bethesda and ZeniMax teams. The changes are grounded in prioritizing high-impact titles and further investing in Bethesda's portfolio of blockbuster games and beloved worlds, which you have nurtured over many decades. To double down on these franchises and invest to build new ones requires us to look across the business to identify the opportunities that are best positioned for success. This reprioritization of titles and resources mean a few teams will be realigned to others and that some of our colleagues will be leaving us. So they said Arcane Austin, this studio will close. Alpha Dog Studios, this studio will also close. Tango Gameworks, now this is a big one that I will cover in a second, but Tango Gameworks will also close and then Roundhouse Games uh, will be joining ZeniMax Online Studio. And so these are pretty much all these studios got shut down, dog. Let's be real here. Continues off by saying with this consolidation of our Bethesda studio team so that we can invest uh, more deeply in our portfolio of games and new IP, a small number of roles across select Bethesda publishing and corporate teams will also be eliminated. Now, luckily, there is at least still one bright side to this. I know to some people they might not see it this way, but let's be real here. This is still good. It says those whose roles will be impacted will be notified today. And we ask that you please treat your departing colleagues with respect and compassion. We will provide our full support to those who are impacting today's notifications and through their transitions including severance benefits informed by local laws so at least there are severance benefits so that it's not like they're just being canned so there is at least that but what it is interesting is they say these changes are not a reflection of the creativity and skill of the talented individuals that these teams are the risks that they took to try new things i acknowledge that these changes are also disruptive to the various support teams across city max and bethesda that brings their games to the market we are making these tough decisions to create capacity to increase to increase investment in other parts of our portfolio and focus our priority uh our focus on our priority games which again we're about to get to it but then they finished off by saying Bethesda remains one of the key pillars of Xbox with a strong portfolio of amazing games and thriving communities as we look forward to uh, as we look to the future there's an impressive lineup of games on the horizon uh, we have Starfield Fallout 76 Indiana Jones the Elder Scrolls Online and they pretty much say hey we got a lot of good shit cooking sorry to all those who are leaving fuck y'all bye bye and one of the things that everyone has been calling out is the fact that they have sit there and shut down Hi-Fi Rush this is one of the things that was very intriguing because this is last year. Microsoft, pleased with Hi-Fi Rush success, plans to reinvest in Tango Gameworks. Now, for those that do not know what Hi-Fi Rush is, it's pretty much like a rhythm type game. It's like a rhythm combat type game. I don't know if I'm explaining it correctly. I tried it out. It's not a bad game. I can see why people like it. It wasn't really a game for me, but Microsoft, that was actually a hit for them. It was a game that came out of nowhere. It was like silently dropped out of nowhere. And people were like, oh shit, yo, what, what, what the fuck is this game? This game's kind of cool. And it popped off. People liked it. And as I just showed you here, Microsoft was pleased with the success and they planned to reinvest in Tango Gameworks, but they're not. What's that right there? Tango Gameworks will also close. We are thankful for their uh, contribution to Bethesda and players around the world. High five rush, but it, it, the game will still be continue to uh, be available to everyone else. And then on top of that, you just had another article that recently came out. It says Microsoft says it needs games like Hi-Fi Rush the day after killing its studio. You know how fucking out of touch that is? That is fucking crazy. And then there's one more thing I want to show you. That same day that Microsoft closed down those studios, they had a controller that came out and said, feel the burn. Yeah, can't make it up. Now, as Mudahar pointed out in his video, of course, these companies, they're so fucking gigantic. It's not like all these studios are all in touch with each other and they all know what one person is going to do next and one person is going to do so that they can coordinate shit. It doesn't work that way. It's too fucking big for that. So the layoffs and everything being announced, highly doubt that the marketing department, the team that actually had all this get published they're not keeping track with that shit they're not aware of that it's they probably found out after the shit was already uh released and they're like oh shit oh wait, we kind of fucked up here you know that's more or less how it would turn out it's not like i i don't it wasn't delivered it's not like microsoft said <laughs> we're gonna sit there and fucking shut down the fucking studios and they're gonna release a co uh, controller that says feel the burn no it's, it's not working that way microsoft for all the fucked up shit they do i know they're not that goddamn evil all right let's let's get back in the reality so yeah it says right here today one day after microsoft announced that it was shut down four of its game studios matt booty head of xbox game studios held a town hall to discuss the division's future goals we need smaller games that give us prestige and awards booty told employees according to internal
final remarks here with the verge and for some listeners on the call aka pretty much everyone who has not read this it was a surprising goal because microsoft already had that happen earlier and as it says right here hi-fi rush which was a surprise release last year was praised for its innovation and charm and when i say everybody was like really surprised by this i mean everybody this game took the world by storm and it's so surprising to sit there and see microsoft say that uh, Matt Booty, I guess, head of Xbox. It is insane to sit there and see that after you literally have one game that popped the fuck off. So it, 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 it seems so out of touch. And so following that, you had a Hi-Fi Rush developer clap back at Microsoft and they sit there and made a tweet and they sit there and said, not enough. And then they were showcasing the awards that they have won. So the Hi-Fi Rush won a total of five developer awards over the course of 2023. The awards include one for animation from BAFTA Games, audio and sound awards from the CEDEC, game awards and the Game Developers Choice Awards and a 10 Pan Alley Award for Best Music in a Game from the New York Game Awards. That's to say nothing of an outlet grant awards. So, of course, the game won awards. Microsoft wants games that are going to win prestigious awards. Games that are, are not as fucking huge like AAA. But I, I guess this game, this studio wasn't doing as well, even though... I'll show you all that in a second. Even though they said literally last year that they were happy with the success of the game and that plan to reinvest in Tango Gameworks just to shut them down more or less a year later. That is absolutely crazy. And people are so upset with Microsoft that <laughs> this was popping off uh, two days ago. So someone nuked Phil Spencer's camp in Fallout 76, pretty much just saying, hey, yo, go fuck yourself. A lot of people more or less is not happy with how Xbox has been running for the past decade or so. People want it to do well. Of course, competition is always great, but it seems like they're always stumbling. They're fumbling. Phil Spencer just says a whole bunch of bullshit, just a bunch of garbage that comes out of his mouth. He likes to tell people what they want to hear, but doesn't actually do any actions to try and do good on his word is to say hey guys we got shit coming soon we got games coming soon games game 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 games they're coming they're coming they're going to be hot it's going to be amazing the only honest and transparent thing that he said last year when he went on a podcast to talk about how redfall just didn't do good at all and how it was pretty much a pile of shit realistically that's a game that should have been canned it should never even had updates be finished to begin with that's the game that should have just been refunded to people and microsoft taking loss on that that is what really should have happened to this game instead of trying to act like that you give a shit about it and that you're going to give updates to it over the coming years you should have just canned it the second the game came out and everybody in the grandma was talking shit about it and that no one was playing it you should have just cut the just cut it off dog you are microsoft you can afford it you bought so many fucking studios you bought activision blizzard you bought bethesda you're spending billions you can afford to take an l on one fucking game and do right by people and acknowledge that you fucked up and made mistakes you could have sit there and just had that game shut down and say hey you know we're just going to give refunds to everybody uh you know what and i mean partly i'm saying that too because i got this game for free and i want i want my money back even though i didn't spend anything on it I really don't like having Redfall in my library. That, that's just fucking embarrassing. Also, to add on top, remember, this game costs fucking 70 fucking dollars. 70 fucking bucks. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Now, we're, we're, I want to show y'all this shit real quick. This bullshit, if I recall, yep, 70 fucking bucks. You can't make this shit up, dog. 70 bucks. I don't even know how this shit's at mixed of, uh, reviews. Whoever's leaving a positive review, you are delusional. This garbage was 70 bucks broken on launch had so many issues and microsoft's like hey fuck this game <laughs> update what update this game <laughs> oh psych like I, this game was a ripoff dog again they should have took an l just sit there anyone who bought the game let them keep it in their library take it off the store and just sit there and just say you know what we're gonna focus our resources on making a better game going forward and call it a day but no, they didn't do that at all. They decided to wait a fucking year first. But either way, the point is, if Microsoft really wanted to do right by their players, Phil Spencer wants to do right by the gamers, this game would have been canned right off the bat the second it released and it got so many shit reviews. Sure, you can sit there and say for like the 30 people who gave a fuck about the game to, to keep it alive, but clearly they don't give a fuck because they just shut down the studio, so it was never in their carts to begin with. They just wanted to act like they cared, when in reality they didn't. Anyways, I've ranted about this long enough. You made this far into the video. Consider giving a like, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below. <laughs> Fuck Redfall, dog. <laughs> that fucking shitty ass game. You made this far into the video. Consider giving a like, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below what you think. Have a great day. Yeah.